Hello guys, this is Tracy and welcome to Aaron Killian. This is take number four. Um, here at Aaron Killian, you are required to think for yourself to ask who, what, where, when, why, and how of every story and everything in the news. Because we all know, just like George Connor said, it's all bullshit and it's bad for you. But go, so let's start with him. This guy started out as a criminal in the 90s, became a chef. Built a successful catering business. Catered was President Putin's personal chef. And then he started a mercenary group, Wagner, which has had a great deal of success. Now, their first goal is to sit down and talk with people. Get people to sit down and talk. Put your gun down and actually talk. Listen to one another. Remember, the difference between hearing and listening is hearing is involuntary. Listening, you actually pay attention to what's being said. And he understands that very clearly, obviously, since that is the first goal of Wagner Group. Well, over the week, well, let's back up to June. He supposedly led a coup. Now, whether he meant for it to become a coup or not, I don't know. I don't know the man. But after that happened in June, and remember, it wasn't like we have in France or here. There wasn't cars being flipped upside down, businesses being looted, windows broke, cars set on fire, and all that kind of craziness. No, no, no. Uh-uh. That didn't happen. Which I find it quite odd, being an American, a Westerner, that all that didn't happen. <sighs> Oh, I've been up for about an hour. I'm... Boy. Well, over the week, Ugoza was killed in a plane crash. Now, Kremlin history is that they're a little more target specific. Meaning, if they get a target, they go after that target. Whereas the CIA, when they get a target, they take that target out and everyone around them. Um, Hami Rahos. Uh, what's the other one? Oh, Omar Trejos. No, it's Hami Rado and Omar Trejos. They were killed in plane at cr plane crashes among the people around them. Because they stood up to Washington, D.C. That's just two examples. That's, those are two examples of the differences. In approaches. Now, was Kremlin behind it? I don't think so. It was too broad. It was too clumsy. And they tend to be a little more strategic and neat and not really leaving any evidence at all. Was the CIA? They're all over the place. They get an idea, they go with it. They don't think about it, they don't think it through. They go for it and Clean up the mess later. Alright. Bricks. Bricks had their 15th annual meeting this week, which Sergey Lavrov attended in the place of President Putin. Uh, I have a great deal of respect for Sergey Lavrov. He has a lot of mannerisms that remind me of my late father. He's to the point. You have no doubt where he stands on things, he does not raise his voice. He keeps completely calm in every situation. That was something I really had a great deal of respect for my father. Because my mother was the polar opposite. You drop a piece of paper and she was like a psychotic hyena on caffeine. Um, there's several more countries that have been allowed into the BRICS. There's many, many more that want in the bricks because they see how America has treated their enemies and their allies. A lot of the countries that want in have been sanctioned into poverty. Now, I can tell you right now, this whole old world order against a colony in which the American military industrial complex and various industrial complexes are ahead. 
they're not going down quietly. They're not going to go into the good night with their head held low, knowing they lost. No, they're going to scream, they're going to kick, they're going to scratch, bite, and claw. They're going to go out with, like, a demon being killed. It's going to be brutal, and you and I are going to be the ones facing the backlash. It's going to be like Hitler. In his final hour, he blamed the German citizens for Germany losing World War II. Yeah, so they were too weak. They didn't deserve to survive. That's what our government here in America is going to do to us. Now, I don't know if other governments will do that. I'm pretty sure they will, but who knows, right? What do you think? Now, as you know, Southeast Michigan has been hammered Thursday, like Wednesday and Thursday, with tornadoes. So, I'm going to stop here and ask you to keep these folks in your thoughts and your prayers over the week to help them kind of pull back some semblance of normal. Until later, be well, be safe.